happens to be Bisexual Awareness Week, and no one has acknowledged it! Lesbian History Month was in March! Nobody said a goddamn thing! Of course, lesbians get a month and we get a week. Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Good, Hello. hi Rory. So first of all, congratulations on the movie. Uh, I watched it this morning and just incredibly funny, but the one thing that stood out to me the most was, I was thinking back, over the generations, there's different movies and TV shows that will hit different generations of, of queer and LGBTQ people as, as feeling seen, as feeling represented for the first time. And I think this movie is going to do that for a huge audience, considering the breadth and scope of the release this is getting. But for each of you, can you recall what that first movie or TV show was that when you watched it, you're like, oh, I, I feel somewhat seen. I feel somewhat represented finally by someone on screen. I wonder if it's being represented. I, I think we all, you know, a show, obviously, to your question, lines up uh, maybe not at a pivotal moment in our life because believe I think the very young version of myself would have loved to see a movie like this, uh, to see like Bros. But I do recall, like, you know, so many that came before this as far as at least characters peppered in and Norman Lear was hitting some of this stuff uh, way back before I was, you know, <laughs> that I was watching TV. But I'm, I'm younger. I'm, not, not, I'm younger than that. Uh, uh, but Will and Grace to me only because I remember Ellen, you know, had, you know, Ellen had come and gone. And, you know, TV goes through an ebb and flow, you know, and that was a... a a rise to her coming out and then the the subsequent fallout after that it's just, we tend to take steps forward and back so the fact that right behind that was Will and Grace and I and I think that you know they were like let's just make a pilot at least and maybe we'll have a great pilot so I just think the fact that we got that gift but to think about bros going way beyond even any of this these shows mm -hmm. uh, so I think I at least sat up and and started to notice that um, stories were starting to get told, you know, uh, around then for me. I would have to sort of squint a little bit, but I, I could see myself in a lot of characters that um, maybe there was subtext or something that I picked up on, um, but they weren't like intentionally, you know, queer or trans. So um, I remember really seeing myself in a character in Jawbreaker, which is like a 90s teen dark comedy. Um, and yeah, that was like the first time in, in hindsight that I was like, that is me. <laughs> God, for, for myself um, to see uh, a lesbian character in something, there's like bits and pieces, not one specific thing that I remember. And I, I think, <laughs> I hate to say it, but well, I don't hate to say it, I'm proud to say it, but this film is the first time that not just for myself, but the, the inclusiveness of everybody being represented. And, and I think, too, my characters, oh, I say characters because of the last transitioning season of Glee, to see myself as, you know, I was playing a straight character and then went into the transitioning, but also, too, the different episodes on the show where, you know, lesbians were represented and, you know, it was different storylines, but not necessarily all together through the same motion as this film because it, you know it's under two hours and everybody's included so it, it's just nice and it's written well and I don't think I could even judge on that but I've never laughed harder and also too I've cried a few times watching this because Billy allows his vulnerability to be seen on top of the love and the laughter and all of us in the boardroom it's like it's this camaraderie camaraderie about we're yeah we're bantering we're fighting but at the end of the day we have each other's backs and I love that. Yeah, it really speaks true uh, from the movie. Like, there, as you said, I was the same. I had a bit of an emotional roller coaster in different parts of the movie where I, I, I did feel the lump in my throat building up was like, <laughs> um, <clears throat> but one of the scenes that also looked like a lot of fun, we're calling from Dublin, Ireland, uh, which in the, you know, in the last few years has had a bit of a transition itself, but has now become what I believe one of the best places in the world to experience Pride. So first of all, if you're ever in the mood to come over to yeah. celebrate Pride in Dublin, Ireland, let me know and I will organize that. But secondly, right. seeing the scenes in P-Town, it made me think for each of you, where is the best place you've ever celebrated Pride? Where was the place you're like, I'm going to remember that because that was a landmark Pride for me? I would think at the uh, definitely New York and San Francisco Pride Parades that I was uh, invited to and, and was a grand marshal in, in San Francisco and to 
just see and feel the love in this, you know, couple mile route and that just everybody there for the same reason to just celebrate and feel the love and to be themselves. Yeah, my first, I would just, my first pride was literally in Los Angeles. So I, I can't not top you know, the, your very first one being out and, and, and sharing in that. And then just in general, Pete Town's one of my favorite places. So I just, you know, <laughs> just the overall vibe of there feels like pride to me. I've only ever done New York pride. So I, I can only say that one, but you know, it's, it's New York. So it's, uh, I'm sure it's definitely up there for everyone, but that it'll always be like my home. So New York for sure. Fantastic. Well, soon it will be New York and then Dublin. And be Dublin. Yes. When you yeah. And then Dublin. Oh, totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Thank you all so much for your time today. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We're coming to see you, Rory. Yep. I can't wait. What is going on with you? My whole life, I prided myself on being self-reliant, but this guy has gone into my head. Maybe you're both bottoms and that's the problem. Bottom day! Bottom day! Yeah. Gay sex was more fun when straight people were uncomfortable with it. Somebody!